What is up, muscle car lovers? We have a treat for you today. One of just 640, 70 Roadrunner convertibles. Paint and body on this one is really, really nice, guys. All the bright work, all the moldings around here, the gorgeous 70 grill on our Roadrunner. Look how clear the lenses are and the little indicator lamps downstairs. We have a release right here. Put that over, then the secondary right here. So we got a 383 with the four barrel on top. This is a 375 horse configuration. This baby is equipped with a whole lot from the factory. You see, we have our power brakes. It's a factory, you find that on the trim tag. It's a factory cruise control. Oh yes, and it don't stop there. Downstairs we have our factory power steering. Oh, so this is all stock appearing with one upgrade, which is almost essential on these babies. It is the MSD distributor letting this thing spark a bit better. I love this, there's a lot of fun around this car. They don't do it like they used to, man. The Roadrunner, beep, beep, little horn there. All the nice detail under here, all the correct fasteners, the insulation mat on the hood. This is a real sweetheart. And you see our original data plate trim tag there. This is all decoded for you uh, right on our website if you check out the link in the description. Now, if you're wondering, for Plymouth in 1970, this beautiful cream color was called Golden Yellow. My favorite touch on here. It's gotta be the graphic, and like, you notice it even says Warner Bros. Nothing's too serious in life. Let's just have a little bit of fun. And coming on down here, our beautiful mag style wheels, correct center caps with the red line Firestones. Gorgeous tire. The gaps, we couldn't ask for better. This car is probably uh, over restored or nicer than new. Wait till you see the underbody on this thing. Coming out back, a really sexy tail panel, tough looking tail lights, our vinyl stripe there, our little Roadrunner. Everything looks great. So you have full size spare, we have our tunnel or our boot for our, when our soft top is in the down position. And again, it's all painted nicely to match. This car is not hiding a thing. You notice we have our uh, courtesy lamp there as well. Seal looks good. Factory jack instructions up under there. Closes up good, fits near perfectly. We have a similar story to tell you about on the passenger side. One little detail, I mean, all these spot weld marks there, it's cool to see that, and they're present um, all over this car. These are original quarters here. Notice our gaps again look like a million bucks. Everything's super clean. I don't see any uh, scratching or marring up of our glass. All these seals look new, new windshield, and this top. Top looks awesome. It feels very, very high quality. Oh my goodness, that opened nicely. The inner door panel is finished in gloss black. The door cars themselves, these gotta be brand new. We have the racing mirror over here with the remote adjustment, which is working great. In this big body, big block convertible, we have the perfect configuration here. We got a nice bench seat, had a 727 on the column. This is a hell of a cruiser. And one thing too, I talked about under the hood, the uh, cruise control is all here intact, looking like a million bucks, as is the rest of our instrument panel. Look at all those gauges. This one shows 55,000 on the clock. Those are believed to be original before the restoration was complete. Got our heater controls, uh, three-speed wipers over here, and the washer. We have the AM radio there. This is very well done, if you can't tell. You guys don't even need me to tell you how clean this car is. Puts up nicely. Ah, this is fun. This is what you'd find uh, up on your visor here. Out back, got a couple more seats. Notice we have seat belts for for two more passengers. No detail missed, everything looks clean. I noticed the lights are all working. We have a glass rear window in here, which is nice, it'll never wrinkle up on us. All the runners here look very good. The frame for this top has been 
very nicely restored as well. And speaking of, I'll show you how that works. Fold these down here. Nice little paddle there we'll let loose. More here. Check out how cool the indicator is on the hood. And in case you forgot, we're packing a 383 under the hood, ladies and gents. Power steering feels great. Seat's comfortable. I like this car. And this, that is very fun. Go smooth down the road. A nice view of things. Skinny A pillar. Glass is pretty flat, so nothing's kind of contouring the, the view at all. I like that. I wish we had a beautiful sunny day to put the top down and really enjoy this thing for all it's got, but this is still really smooth. This sounds good. And uh, one of you lucky guys or gals could be the one to to let the hair blow. We're coming into a, a good sweeping turn up here. It shows I'm doing about 50 miles an hour. I'm not gonna push it too hard, but this gets you a good feel for how tight the front end is. Um, you know, our shackles in the rear, all of that. This thing feels firm. I don't feel any slop. The steering wheel is on point too. The alignment's very nice. Ooh. Don't sleep on the big convertible, man. like what you saw here I bet you like a few other things we got coming around this place we got new cars coming in about every day this one is a new arrival it's gonna be live very soon so we got a lot of good info check out the link in the description that'll take you to our website where you can see our full inventory you get to check out the underbody of this car which looks like a million bucks you get to check out all the stampings the breakdown of the codes the list goes on lastly while you're down there clicking if you enjoyed and you want to see more make sure you like and subscribe not only do we appreciate that it's gonna get these beautiful cars in front of you more often I like that too. We'll see you guys. Mackenzie with LaFontaine. Checking out. Bye-bye.